What's up, everybody? Today we're talking about inflation. quad tire setup. It comes with the digital gauge and we'll see what I have over here. Today we received this. I'm kind of excited. And the reason being is I wanted to do this review so I could get this out to one of our viewers for my last video because it's still got a lot, a lot of life left in it. I mean, it's an Arab system, it really doesn't perish. And so, but I wanted to try something different because of my own experiences in the field. And the only way to do that is obviously to buy something else and try it. So this is what I picked. The Morflate quad system. Now, I know you guys are gonna say, well, that's just another quad system. Yes, it is, but it's different in at least one way. And that one way, I believe, is the most important way. And we'll talk about why. Now, at first glance, you're going to say, hey, Trip, you wasted your money. It's the same system. And I'm going to say, I can see how you think that. Okay, I really can. And the reason why is because, again, this has four tires. The other set of those four tires. It's got quick connects. What's different? The line's the same. You can see right here, same thickness, okay? But what I want to tell you is one of the largest drawbacks I've gotten from this dude right here is the fact that it's spun line or it's sprung line, meaning it's built to recoil and one of the hardest things about it is navigating it when it's cold uh, and or when it's wet and muddy because inherently you're going to get whatever's on it all over you because it wants to constantly spring back and it's constantly creating tension against the valve stems wanting to pull it back so it became just a nuisance to me in a sense that it was driving me crazy having to operate it that way all the time this system here you can see is a straight tube system. Meaning, it's just like a water hose. Once you unravel it, it'll just lay across the floor directly. And that's one of the biggest things, in my opinion, that make the difference. There's some quality differences because of what type of cable and what type of connections they use. But for the most part, I would say they're on par with each other. They really are. Uh, you're not making a bad decision either one, but what I've found for me is that vehicle being a little longer and it, you know, it's still got the same wheelbase to say like a Tacoma or a 4Runner. This way seems to be a little easier to navigate because you can simply lay it out, connect the, the tires, and there's no opposing forces wanting it to return back to this connector that you guys all know that I have um, up in the grill. So that being said, um, that's why I went with it. Now again, in my last video, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it, because uh, I haven't given it away yet. Uh, but if you go and comment in the comment sections what the name of this trailer is right here, what I've named this, what I've dubbed it, 
I'm going to throw your name into a hat. You could win this system. It does work fine. All it needs is new batteries, which I'll go ahead and add those before I send it out. But it works just fine. It does it the same way this does it. It'll air up and air it down just as efficiently. Uh, it's just a matter of preference. So that's why I went with this guy. So this isn't going to be a long video. This is going to be an instructional video. This is just going to be a simple review video of the two single, single separate discs differences between this and that. Um, that being said, that's basically it. Again, this is the more flake quad tire setup. You'll see that you'll have two different legs. One goes down one side of the other vehicle and the other one goes on the other side of the vehicle. Super simple, quick connects, quick on, quick off. You push it onto the valve stem, press this down, and it holds it on, okay? It, it's really simple to operate. You plug this in, and from here, you can remove this and put a digital gauge or a mechanical gauge, just like this one's done here. See? That's how that's set up. So this, this you can do the same. But because I use the ARB to control pressure, whether I'm deflating or inflating, I don't need to have a separate gauge here. So in that instance, so when you plug it in, right, you can simply plug it in your compressor or your line, and open it for deflation or close it to inflate. Um, with that being said, that concludes this video. I just wanted to show you the differences really quickly between these two. Um, they're priced about the same. I'm just gonna say as far as ease of use, taking, taking it out, putting it back in, and multiple uses at multiple points a day, this, this more flight system is gonna make it a little easier than this guy. I will say again, they do the same job. If you guys have any questions regarding more information about what I think about them, please comment below. But I just wanted to get that out real quick. I had a lot of questions asking why I was changing from this system to something else. And that's all this video is. It's simply uh, a quick description of what I found to be more efficient and easier for me to operate and ease of use with the more plate system and the speed plate system. So again, like, comment, share. If you have any questions, ask in the description below. In the comments, I'll try to get back to you as best I can uh, and as quickly as I can. But that's it, guys. I will give you a review down the road on how well it holds up because, again, I've had this one for the better part of a year and a half, almost two years. So we'll put this in the field and see what the longevity is. But as of now, this is what I'm going with, and that's why. So. I hope this helps. I hope it helps you determine which one you want to go with um, and why. If you have a shorter, smaller vehicle, I would hands down use this uh, because it, it, it's just compact, it's small. Uh, this is probably a little bit longer than what you would need. So again, smaller vehicles, I'd probably lean towards the speed plate. Larger vehicles, I would definitely lean, lean towards the more plate. Um, ease of operation, I would definitely lean, lean towards the more plate. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Beep, beep, beep. I'm loving it. Loving it. I think it's time for some Taco Bell. Maybe a Crunch Wrap Supreme, some Doritos Los Tacos, something like that. See ya.